please like this video leave a comment and don't forget to share all right welcome to skinny tv on youtube once again let's talk about the defender who is going to replace dennis odoi on the right back of ghana blasters that is leroy Owusu. yes um I'm going to tell you the reason why he is going to replace him on the right side of defense for the Ghana Blasters. And I'm also going to tell you the reason why he was unable to play against Super Eagles of Nigeria in the last doubleheader World Cup qualifiers, which was played in Ghana as well as Nigeria. And I'm also going to tell you the reason why um, he will be able to play Blasters in the upcoming days. So before you get into the full video and the full details of the player, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Look at the bottom there. Hit on that subscribe button um put the notification bell beside it on all for more updates on this channel don't forget to leave your comments as well let's interact in the comment section i'm going to like all of them as well so like the video and let's begin okay so we are talking about leroy also leroy also um was born on 13th august 1996 and he's a dutch professional footballer of ghanaian descent Note it, he's a Dutch professional footballer. He's from Netherlands, but he is a Ghanaian or he has a Ghanaian descent. So, um, currently, he is a Dutch. He is not a Ghanaian or someone will say Dutch. Okay. Currently, he is not a Ghanaian yet because he has not completed his process to switch his nationality to become a Ghanaian. And I'm according to close sources to the player, we understand that he earned a call up to play against Super Eagles of Nigeria in that doubleheader World Cup qualifiers last stage where Ghana edged over Nigeria to qualify for the Qatar 2022 World Cup. But he was unable to represent Ghana because he had issues with his nationality switch. And according to sources, we understand that the GFA is now assisting the player to go through the final processes in order to be able to switch to play for the Blasters of Ghana. For William 2 this season, he has been fantastic for them. And the reason why I'm saying that he is going to, um, you know, sit down or do it from the right side and um, he is going to play for the Blasters is that. Yes, Dennis Odoi, as you know already, Dennis Odoi has switched to play for the Blasters of Ghana. And his first game was against Vigas of Nigeria in Kumase, where he had the second in um, Nigeria. That is Moshu Dabiola Sports Stadium. And he was fantastic for Ghana. Don't forget, in the second half in Nigeria, against Super Eagles of Nigeria in Moshu Dabio last Sports Stadium, Dennis Odoi was shifted to play on the left side of defense. And let me now talk about the whole issue. Ghana currently has problem with the right and the left backs. Everyone know it. And um, fortunately for us, we had Gideon Mensah, who played fantastically well in those two legs against, both, um, 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 against Nigeria in those both legs. And he was super. So it is being seen that the left side problem is almost solved or is half solved. Let me put it that way because Gideon Mensah has had a lot of chances that he hasn't really proved a um, lot of Ghanaians right for his call up. So for him coming in, he may be used on the right side of defense so that um, Dennis Odoi will be shifted to the left side. Note, Dennis Odoi is very versatile when it comes to playing around everywhere in the defense area. If you go to... um. Club Rouge, over the weekend, he was used in a different position. Last two weeks, he was used as a defensive midfielder. Sometimes he plays as a central midfielder. Other times, he shifted to the left side. And Ghana against Nigeria, you saw him being shifted to the left side. So, this is what I foresee. This is my subjective, um, you know, reasoning. So, don't attack me, please. I see that Dennis Odoi may be shifted to the left side of defense. And we may get Leroy Owusu coming to the right side of defense for the Blasters of Ghana. But it all boils down to the performance of Gideon Mensah. If he will still continue to perform at that top level, of course, he is going to maintain that position. So Leroy Owusu, um, we may see him in Ghana Blasters shirt sooner than what we even think because it is only left for him to go through the process. And when he is done, I think he will come out officially to declare that he is now a full Ghanaian and he can play for the Blasters of Ghana. But currently, if you go to FIFA, on his records, he is a Dutch footballer. He's played for up to under 20, under 17, up to under 20 level um, for the Netherlands national team. So that's it for you. He has played 45 matches this season. He hasn't scored yet. Um, last season, uh, from 2018 to 2020, he played 67 matches for the Grashaf and um, he scored four goals. Uh, before then, he played um, for 
That is Amir City. He played 90, uh, 29 matches, scored one goal. He played Ezercia alone, where he played five matches, scored one goal. And he played for Young Ajax as well, when he played 59 matches and scored one goal. So he has scored a total of about seven goals. And if you get a defender who can also add some goals to your game, it is very good. And he's very good going forward and sending in some crosses that Ghana um, we actually find it difficult to create chances when we are playing against teams. And I don't remember when a striker in Ghana Blaster shirt actually met a good cross from um, any of our fullbacks to connect to a goal over there. So we are only hoping that when he comes or when he gets the call up after switching his nationality, he can come and perform well for the Blasters of Ghana. So today we decided to talk about Leroy Owusu on this channel. Don't forget to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe if you haven't put on the post notification bell beside the subscribe button on all for more updates on this channel. So before we end the whole video, let me give some shout outs here. And um, first of all, let me say a big shout out to Justina Semenyon. Yes, Justina Semenyon. I've seen you on this channel. You are doing the most. Let me also talk about a J Maxwell. Yes, usually you are first a J Maxwell. I've seen you on this channel. Um, Emmanuel Edu Kobla, yes, Emmanuel Edu Kobla, I've seen you, you are doing very well. Elijah Nana Sante, I've seen you as well. And um, one person I can't also leave out is Kwejo Afrani Okese, yes, Kwejo Afrani Okese, I've seen you. Akwesi Jackson, I've seen you on this channel. Lucas Watch, I've seen you. Papa Kwabena, yes, my name, Papa Kwabena, you are doing the most on this channel. Kwejo ID, he comes with some nice emojis over there, always laughing. Kwejo underscore ID, I've seen you. Then we have Abuaboya Sisiniko, yes, Abuaboya Sisiniko, I've seen you on this channel. Berry Boy, I've seen you. Sources TV GH, I've seen you. Sources TV GH, yes, check him out. Sports Flash TV, yes, go and check him out as well. He gives a lot of updates on sports. Sports Flash TV, then I'm B Sports TV, I've seen you on this channel. At last 24 GH, I've seen you on this channel. Then we can also talk about Fast Sports and Makati Media. So these are the shout out for you. I'll be giving more on this channel. So don't get angry if I didn't give you a shout out. Okay, so this was Kenny TV. This is what we came your way with. Don't forget to stick and stay with us for more videos. And subscribe to the channel and hit on the notification bell for more.